Hi, and welcome to my rug hooking talk show. Okay, so I had a different introduction planned and um, something went wrong with the camera. But as you know, um, I finished the rug. So right now I am just stitching around the border. I'm going to flip that around so you can see exactly what I'm doing. If you come over here, um, got my machine. And I am just finishing up. And so once it's finished, I'm going to show you what the rug looks like uh, after I stitched it. I'm just going around the border um, of the rug right now, about a half an inch away from the edge, uh, to make sure it's bound And before I cut it. And um, I think we've missed some information, so I'm going to repeat that. If you don't have a sewing machine to do this, um, you then could use fray block and that works pretty good you after your rug is done you want to put a stream of this around maybe a half an inch away and um, just to be super sure turn it around and do it again on the other side if you could you might see a little demarcation mark but you obviously will see where you've hooked so that's fine and that'll be your marker and you could use that it dries clear it's washable and dry cleanable um, but it does keep it from fraying on the edges if you're going to bind in any way, shape, or form. This will work. Um, if you can't get that and you have tacky glue, this works good. You just got to, you can't lump it up because it'll get stiff. But it, it's not bad if you're going to be doing it with the twill tape because you'll cover any edge anyway with the twill tape. And done thin enough, this will work good if you use a little, little edge uh, paintbrush and go around the edge like that. So right now I am finishing up over here and um, just turning that a little. And like I said, this is just to, um, I'm going to be cutting this. So, and then I'll show you exactly what this looks like. So I'm going around twice. I did the first one with a zigzag. And um, a very uh, shallow looking zigzag. And, and I just, I don't know, for some reason I like to... I like the straight edge um, better than a zigzag. So, um, I don't have a serger, so those who have the serger machines, they are great because they even serge and cut, I heard, at the same time. So this is, this is in preparation to um, the binding. The end. Oops. This is what's happening. My, my camera is moving around because this machine is vibrating the table. So I'm going to go a little slower because I think that's how we lost the last footage on this um, thing here. So I think this is the end of this part. And then we're done. Okay, so back, back stitch a little and we're done. Okay, so on the last uh, filming that I said that I lost here, I was saying that some people even disagree with stitching around the linen for fear of it uh, breaking the backing. Uh, the, the needle, I guess, crushes the linen. So that's something, you know, people do also. They don't like to do it. So maybe they find another way. Maybe they hand stitch it. And you can do that too. You could do a hand stitching. Okay, I'm going to flip around very quickly. Sorry for panning over to all the yuckiness in my basement here but it's the best I could do so I don't have somebody who, who wants to help me film <laughs> okay so what I'm going to do is pick up this camera and bring it over here so you could see what this looks like okay so I'll be off camera for a little bit okay let me flip that around okay so I'm gently going to be bringing this over and okay, so we have a problem with the light because it's right behind us and it sometimes causes a problem. So there you go. Um, oops, sorry. I don't make anybody dizzy here. So as you can see, this is the, the finished um, mat. So as you can see when we discussed it, there's more pronounced scalloping on this side, which I would have liked to have been on this side too because I really like the look of it. But you know what? That's the way it came out, and I'm okay with it. If you look very close, you see it over here. But for some reason, I must have just chosen my colors, and I started to add colors. This came a different color. 
And you know what? I find it interesting and I like it like that. And so that's the way it's going to stay. So I'm gonna put this camera down now and just bring it back slowly so as not to shake you up. Okay, here we go. Okay, how's that? Are we back on camera? Yes, we are. Let's try to get this good. Okay, there you go. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Welcome back. Okay, so um, this is a continuation from the little split that we had gotten before. So we're at the point where I'm going to cut my mat. And um, basically I've stitched it already, as we saw in the, in the video. And I'm just going to go right up to the very edge of it and cut all around. Okay? And that's basically how this is going to... This is the beginning of the beginning of the end, the binding. That, that fun stage that nobody likes. And it's just the extra and it's getting put into the garbage. So... And for this, also, you want really good scissors to cut with, so you're not mashing up your um, your backing here, which is important. You don't want to start pulling on it and having it fray. This is what we're trying to prevent with those stitching lines that I did before. Um, and basically, that's it. So, uh, let's get this done. curve the edge because that edge will get bulky and it is what it is I mean you can miter the edge is that the term that some people use and um, it lays a little flatter and um, I just turn it in I kind of miter it I guess you would say I'll show you when I'm doing it but this might be a little hard to do because I didn't wash my twill tape so I'm not sure about that. Maybe I will have to wash it after all to, to miter it. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little stiff, but you know what? I think I think it'll be okay. Don't ask me why I'm not washing it. I, I, I probably should, but I like the stiffness of it, and I just think it's going to be easier to um, stitch. Uh, but I'm going to have to think about that. Because basically what I'm going to do is, at some point, this is going to be finished, totally. And I will show you what that looks like in my very last video before I start my next rug. Which I think is going to be a geometric diamond design, uh, something for my bedroom. Um, I don't have any rugs at the, at the, on my side of the bed or my husband's, so I thought that might be really something good to do because I'm dying to work with tones of uh, grays and blues and um, yeah so something like that so I'm just going to give you a quick idea what I do is I always start my taping at the bottom and that's a raw edge so what I do do is fold it under I fold it under a bit so there's not a little bulk here on this one and then on that side there's another bulk and before you know it it's getting very bulky so I um, I pull it in probably about an inch and a half, an inch and a quarter, so you don't get that bulkiness. And that's where I start um, my sewing. And you'll see it'll go right up to the very edge. And then it'll get turned under. Let me see if I could kind of show you something. Let me bring this over. And you could see that little edge right there. See it? That's kind of what it's going to look like. A little preview. And um, so that's where we're at. And that's the end of that. So I want to thank you so far for joining me. We're getting to the end of this rug. And I truly hope that you are going to enjoy um, seeing the finished product. And um, moving forward to my next rug. So um, that'll be fun. And just want to say thanks for joining me, and until we meet again, happy hooking.